The blockchain space is booming with opportunities for developers. But how do you land your first blockchain developer job, especially if you don't have any experience? Well, I get this question all the time. And today I want to answer it by interviewing one of my students, Anthony, who broke into the blockchain industry with my help, talking about his entire journey in doing this so that you can learn from it and do the same. We're going to ask all kinds of frequently asked questions like what skills you need to know? How can you learn them? How good do you have to be? How did he find this job? And then what exactly was he doing? Like what do blockchain developers even do with their first job? So sit back, grab a snack. You definitely don't want to miss this. And really quickly, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smack that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to go for the throat and do everything I'm talking about in this video today, break into the blockchain industry, I can sure do that step by step over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Maybe let's start there, Anthony. Can you tell us a little bit more about the first uh, job that you landed? Uh, what were you doing? Y you know, like, uh, tell me, tell me about that. Yeah, no, that's a great question. So, uh, I was first hired as a blockchain developer. It was really awesome and exciting. Uh, I was able to make two real world coins, one on Solana and one on the Ethereum uh, mainnet, and basically they were tokens that we were going to use for the business. I also got the opportunity to wear many hats and code a bunch of other full stack things, uh, which you know, people might not know this, but sometimes you might have to do a lot of things, uh, you know, especially when you're working for a startup company. So uh, I got the opportunity to wear many hats and I'm really grateful for that great experience. Yeah. So I think I've even we were talking a little bit offline, you got to do some mobile development and stuff like that, too. Yep, certainly. Uh, I got a lot of experience with Flutter. So, okay, so that's kind of where you landed. But let's talk about how you got there, because that's a question people are going to have a lot. You know, like, wh what was your background like before you decided you wanted to become a developer? <clears throat> so I, I, I did have education. I had a physics education. I went to college and got a bachelor's degree. After that, it, it seemed like, you know, I might be trapped being like a physics professor or something like that. To do anything cool in physics, you might have to go and get a doctorate. So I wanted to change my career. The second thing I would have done if it wasn't physics was computer science. I love coding and I've, I've coded throughout my entire physics program. So I went and I got an additional education in coding, felt like it wasn't really enough. And I wasn't sure what type of field I wanted to get into. Uh, one of my friends, you know, we, we always talk about crypto. He's like, why don't you ever consider crypto was looking online every day. I found DAP University on YouTube. I started watching YouTube every day and going from like zero knowledge Watching it every day for like three months, you everything starts to click. You start understanding things you didn't understand. So I would attend your live streams daily. I would watch your tutorials. And then I finally took the jump and did your boot camp. The boot camp definitely gave me a ton of skills that I didn't get from my uh, uh, other education. And I was able to actually leverage the education I got from the boot camp to get my first freelance NFT gig, which is really cool. I could talk about that in a minute, but um, essentially was able to do your, do your course and... <laughs> actually attending one of the live streams, I was asking, how do I, you know, get my foot in the door with no professional experience? My employer was in the live stream, also clicked on my profile, saw that I was, you know, active on YouTube. I was making YouTube videos. I started making blog content, just trying to get myself out there. And that was actually all information I learned from, you know, from you, advice from you and your course. So uh, that really helped me get my foot in the door to get in my first crypto gig. Yeah, that's awesome. So it sounds like basically, you know, Daphne University is a big part of the full journey in terms of, you know, learning what you needed to learn, uh, understanding the tactics for, you know, landing your first job, and then also getting the connection for that. Um, so I want to kind of break that down a little more. So, you know, you, you had the physics background, you know, traditional university setting, um, you did some additional education. So was that like a, a, a boot camp, like a, like a, just a web development boot camp? Yeah. So it was basically, uh, a, uh, like a full stack developer boot camp. Uh, it didn't teach me the skills I needed to get into the crypto field, though. And that is right. why I decided to pursue uh, additional education uh, through DAP University. But it was, you know, it was good to have that information. Um, but I'm not using too much of that uh, stuff I learned today. So sure. So maybe help you build some general foundations. But, you know, um, of course, yeah. the crypto specific stuff is kind of kind of why I came here. Okay, awesome. And so yeah, you know, you were able to get the skills so it would you say that the skills that you got um you know through dap university were enough to prepare you for the first sort of gig so to speak i would 100 percent agree with that for sure yep the, the ability to market yourself to to have enough you know 
tech, uh, to have enough knowledge about the technology you're talking about and, uh, you know, just building a portfolio and getting yourself out there. Uh, that's stuff that you, you might not learn uh, through other places, but sure. Yeah. And that, that kind of falls more into the tactics side of what I was saying a minute ago. So let's, let's talk about that. So what did you do in terms of tactics? Um, to obviously, you know, you had that connection through the sort of live stream, but you did a lot of groundwork before that, right? Yeah. Uh, I always think about the tactics about sort of marketing yourself is you want to have all this stuff ready, so when the right person comes along, you know, it's all in place. You know what I mean? So tell me yep. a little bit about what you did to prepare for that. Yeah, and actually, I was in a pre, it was in a live stream I was in with you. It was like, how how do you even get a job with no professional experience? You said build up a portfolio, you know, start making content, and that's exactly what I did. I made. YouTube videos, I made how to create a token, easy, simple ERC-20 token. I made how to make an ERC-721 token, just simple, quick videos that if you're a blockchain developer, you know, with this knowledge, you should be able to do this. I started building up my portfolio. I would do all the free tutorials that you had on your YouTube channel. And then once I got the mastery, you know, subscription, I started doing some of those uh, tutorials as well, really helped build my portfolio up. And it was so easy for him to find me because once he clicked on my YouTube, he saw I had videos made put my name in Google, my website popped up because I was getting enough traffic at that time where my website was starting to pop up. So uh, just to see a developer have, uh, you know, like an active GitHub, active YouTube, active blog, active LinkedIn, it, it really, you know, speaks volumes for that developer and would certainly help them out, certainly help me out. So 100%. Yeah, totally. And, you know, in one sense, like, it's incredibly simple. You know what I mean? It's just that the, you have to do the work to make it work. Um, yep, you need, because you I need think, to be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I think, unfortunately, a lot of people overcomplicate this. They kind of overanalyze every single step of like, okay, like I need to get apps from our portfolio. What should they be? You know what I mean? And then they kind of like spend forever thinking about it. But it's like, we'll just get, a, a, get an app, right? And then get the site done. How should it look? We'll just get a site done, right? Well, what should be on my GitHub? Yep. Get some projects on your GitHub. It's like, what do I make videos about? Well, make a video about something that you know how to do. <laughs> like, get it, like, done is better than perfect you know, um, so that when the right person comes along that you got this stuff ready and that they can see that. And that, you know, it's, I, I always talk about the type, type of stuff is sort of like, it's, it's a, a pre-interview, you know what I mean? It's like, um, there's a lot of information somebody has to learn in an interview. And if you can save them time of just like making the snap judgment of like, Oh, this person seems like someone I want to talk to. Um, it's a huge, huge lever. So that's, you know, the tactics. And what I want to want to hear a little bit more about the story of uh, how the employer found you through the live stream. So I want to drill down that a little more because it's crazy because, you know, you learn the skills, you got the tactics, but then you actually got the connection through Dapper University in a, in a unique way. I remember I remember actually being on that live stream, you asking that question and then telling me later about it. <laughs> yeah, just give me another recap. Yeah, so essentially, you know, we were just chatting. It was at the end of the live stream and it really does pay to join those live streams. Uh, we were, you know, sitting in the Q&A and I was just asking, you know, more questions about how to get, because I, I felt like I was, I made my portfolio. I was, you know, uh, I had my YouTube set up. I was creating content and I, I was getting interviews. It's just like nothing was clicking because of my professional experience. Uh, so I, it was just, I was getting real, not like too stressed, but I, I was looking for more advice. So I came into the q and I was asking questions and then my, my, the employer that hired me, he was in there and he saw that I was asking questions and uh, I, I, he's a frequent to the channel too. And so he might've recognized my name, but when he clicked on my YouTube channel, he saw that I had content created. My website was linked on my YouTube channel. So he was able to click it, see what I got going. And, um, you know, he, my email was also listed. He was able to email me. He's like, Hey, I saw your comments and Dap University's live yeah. stream. Um, I, I have all the emails and everything. I, I screenshot everything. I sent to my discord. I was like, this is like crazy. Like, like, it's so weird how connections work. It's such a small world. But yeah, that, that was how I would, I, we started talking right after that live stream every day. And then he hired me a few months after. So it was really cool how that worked. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, it does pay to show up to those live streams, although we're not really doing them right now. Um, <laughs> right, right now we're kind of in the middle of this brutal crypto bear market uh, at the time of recording this video. Maybe somebody's watching this video later and we're not anymore. But um, yeah, we we did them pretty consistently for about two years uh, when there's a lot happening in the space. That's kind of the nature of technological innovation. It's sort of like uh, it's the Lenin quote of like uh, there's there's decades where nothing happens, and then like years where decades, that weeks where decades happen, something like that effect, right? It's kind, <laughs> of, kind of how crypto works, you know what I mean? It's uh, very slow, and then boom, something crazy happens, and that's when it's really time to. 
there's a lot to talk about. So there's uh, less to talk about, but now is a great time to double down on your skills, and become a blockchain developer. I made a video about this last week talking about it because that's what I did. You know, I got the space in 2017, and uh, when it got quiet throughout 2018, 2019, um, I just doubled down. You know what I mean, and really learned uh, my stuff to a to a much bigger level. You know what I mean, and uh, that paid off handsomely because whenever things got really crazy again, you know, I was way ahead of everybody else. Um, and that's why I think right now is a perfect time to focus when most people want to just check out like the other direction. That gives me a pretty good overview of your story, Anthony. I think that is going to help a lot of other people um, kind of understand, you know, what's the process look like, right? So, I mean, you got to have the skills. You need to let people know you have the skills as a portfolio and those marketing tactics that you're talking about. And then, you know, um, you know, it's basically just getting the connection with the right person. Eventually the right thing will come along. You know, it sounds like you were telling me yeah. you, you went through a lot of different interviews that were just not sticking, you know what I mean? But then you finally found the one that really uh, was a good fit. And that that's what I always tell people. You just need one opportunity, right? You probably yep. get a lot of no's, but that's okay. Right. Is there anything else that you think would be really valuable for someone to know who's trying to start this journey who's, or who's in the middle of this journey? Certainly. Uh, my best advice is to not give up and try to outlast. You know, there's a lot of people that are doing this. Some people, you know, watch a few videos and they get out of, you know, they're like, oh, this is not for me. But if you sit there and you do it every day, you know, I, I say this to a lot of my friends, if you could spend three months just watching at least videos every day, uh, you start hearing words, things start making more sense. So as long as you're in it and you give it your effort, it's not going to happen like overnight, but it's more of like a snowball effect and it, it, things start growing exponentially. So uh, I, I just say stick in it as long as you can. Don't give up and things things eventually click. That, that is certainly my best advice. Yeah, 100 percent. And, you know, kind of what you're talking about really is like the immersion process. If you just you just watch, you stare at things until they make sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yep. I remember that, you know, being a developer. Uh, for the first time. I mean, I was a developer before I got into blockchain, but if you rewind about a decade ago, it was about when I started learning to code from scratch. And uh, yeah, I remember that like, it looks like I'm staring at Chinese as an English speaker, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, for for a couple of weeks before stuff started really making sense. So uh, I remember that feeling well and can identify with it. And yeah, it's really just, it's about sticking with it. And what I tell people a lot one of the biggest litmus tests for going down this path is, do you like doing it? You know what I mean? And yep. do, you, do you like what you want to like, do you, do you like wanting, like becoming a coder? Um, obviously like when it's Milvis hard and it's, you have that sort of brain pain, <laughs> there's, there's something that like, Oh, I don't really like this, but, um, but, but that's what keeps you coming back for more. You know what I mean? Cause I've seen a lot of really smart people get into this that not just like blockchain, but just programming in general. And, they've got a lot of other options. You know what I mean? Like they don't really want to be a coder and they're just like, uh, they're not going to stick with it. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how smart you are. You can't just brute force your way, you know, in I a agree. couple of weeks to becoming a really successful coder. It's, it's about putting in the time every single day. It really does not matter how smart you are. You can't just jump over the hump in two weeks. Um, you know, and two weeks is a long time, honestly, to like sit there and like, brute force something every single day and that's people who think they can do it and they just can't that's my whole point if, if you have if the litmus test is do you like doing it if you like doing it and can keep that up then that's what's going to sustain you through that those multiple months that he's talking about to get stuff to click well awesome and is is a pleasure chatting today obviously we're gonna be chatting a lot more but um yeah you know everybody make sure you smash that like button down below you know subscribe to the channel tune into these videos because obviously there's lots of people getting a lot of value out of these uh with the tactics and, and everything you need to know become a blockchain developer break in the industry um all the exciting stuff that's going to happen and again like i said before you know the uh big opportunity is to get in now before things crazy get crazy again. We don't know exactly know when that's going to happen. Nobody's going to crystal ball, but I think it will catch some people by surprise. So uh, if you want to do that and go through the exact road that Anthony has gone down, um, then definitely head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Okay. You know, Anthony had a little bit of a coding background before he came to, to do do that. But, uh, you know, I've helped lots of other people who don't have any coding background, you know, zero coding experience, you know, make the jump and actually get jobs in a matter of months. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again, Anthony. Uh, that's all we got. And until next time.